Hi everybody, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a MySQL database which, will we, which we will use to install your WordPress site. So once again I'm in my hosting account, HostGator in this case. Any hosting account with cPanel will look the same. We want to scroll down to where it says MySQL databases. I click on that. In the very first section in the HostGator hosting panel, there's a create new database area. And all you have to do is type in a name for the database. So what you could do, say you have a, a website about flower pots, you could call your database flower pots. And this part in front, this is automatically generated based on your user information when you sign up for your hosting account. So this part at the front, you cannot change but you can change or you, we can make a, a custom entry for the back part of the database name. So I'll just create the flower pots database. Click on create and it says it's added the database flower pots. So what you want to do is you want to take this database name and save it in a text file. I'll explain why in the next video. So we want to save it in a text file. We'll call this DB name is that. And we're also going to add a DB username and a DB password, which we're going to create right now. Click on the go back link. In my hosting account, I have a lot of databases already. If that was the first one you've created, you will see one entry here with your database name. You also notice that some of these are quite random. Uh, one other thing to consider when you're creating your database name is if you make it random, random letters and numbers, it'll be more difficult for a hacker to gain access. Something to keep in mind. I'm only using flower pots for the purposes of this example. All the databases I create for legitimate websites, I make random letters and numbers. And I'll give you a quick example when I make the username. I'm just going to make it random letters and numbers. And I'll say when you have too many, so it can only be seven characters long in this case. So keep deleting characters until you get the green check mark. I use the password generator for the password, and I usually hit the generate password button until I get a, a really funky one, like this one where it has an underscore, a period, a, a period, a star, something that I wouldn't be able to guess off the top of my head, and I assume other people wouldn't be able to guess either. So it makes you check this checkbox. I've copied this password in a safe place, and then click on Use Password. It will usually autofill the password here. Then all you have to do is click Create User. On the next page, it says it added the user and here's the username with the password, the password we just chose. So you want to copy the username to your text file. And you want to copy the password to that text file. And we're going to use these in the next video to actually install WordPress. I hope this information served you. Again, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WPLearningLab.com, and I will see you in the next video. So no matter what comes your way, nothing can ruin your day. Leave and wipe a smile away.